Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free Tool. and today we have something really special. This has actually been years in the making and I am so happy to finally bring it to you. I have all the different types of oscillating tools that Ryobi makes. Now, not just Ryobi USA, but Ryobi Global. This is actually from Australia. These two right here you can get in the United States. Today we're going to go over all three, we're going to compare them, and we're going to see how well they actually cut. So stick around everybody. This is going to be awesome. Alright, so first up, this is the P246. This is the first one that I ever had. It has a variable speed trigger. And that's 0 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. Now it's got a few cool little things about it actually. It does have a task light. You do have a forward and reverse right here. I'll get into that in just a minute why we actually have that. Then you have a magnetic base down here. Now that is super useful. I love having Now this is considered the Job Plus because it doesn't only just do oscillating or multi-tools. This can do a myriad of other tools. This is compatible with, check this out, the rigid Job Plus head. So they have a bunch of different types of heads that you can use on this and you can see how this works there's a gear in here and there's a coupler right there and this is actually a rubber uh, coating on top of that so that pops right on there now this is a tooled type of um, blade locking system so you actually have to have a hex head you have to take it off you have to put it back on super annoying so I did my research rigid this is part of the job max actually had a head that's toolless blade chain. So check this out. So you just take that off. You can slide a different um, type of whatever type of blade that you need over it. So one that has a slot or one that doesn't have a slot, you pop it right back down. Then you're good to go. So check this out. It goes right on and this is awesome. And it has another little feature on it too. This little head right here actually comes off and you can switch it to different blades that you have and there's some really nice magnets in there that keeps everything in place so this was really cool when I got it but I tell you what the performance was not that great you'll lose a lot of the performance right in here with that coupler it's just it doesn't translate the power very well and there's no lock so you always have to hold it so if you get in like weird positions uh, it's just not very comfortable all right, so this is the brand new Ryobi HP. This is the PBL MT50. Now this is the latest and the greatest that Ryobi has period out on the market. It's brushless motors. So this one has brushless. It has six different settings on here. And let's just hear what that sounds like. It has a on and off switch right here. So we'll switch that. Now that is zero to 20,000 oscillations. Again, the same as the previous, but this translates the power and it lays it down really nice. It is a super strong tool. So let's take a little bit closer of a look with it. This is a, also a toolless change. So all you have to do is you press that button right there. You can see this slides up and you can push a, if it has a full head on the blade itself, or if it's just a half or slotted, you can push it right through. That locks it into place. This also has a little light right there. So that's a, you have a task light. This is the latest and the greatest. It feels really good. I mean, I think the rubber over molding here feels just about the same, but the handle's a little bit more ergonomic. It's a little bit thinner. And since it has just an on and off switch, you can get into whatever area you need to. Um, I think it is just a little bit louder, but the vibrations are less in this tool than it is in the other one, at least from my experience. All right, let's move on to the next one. So this is the new R18MT. This came from Australia. I am super excited about this. I have been looking for this tool for so long, and I am so happy and so blessed to actually have it. Now this has, and we're just going to pull the trigger so you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different settings, and that is 
10,000 oscillations all the way to 20,000 oscillations. In fact, that is the exact same as this one because on the first setting it's 10,000, the last setting it doubles to 20,000. This one does not have a task light, but it has a couple other really cool things with it. It does have a trigger that you pull here. Let's set that all the way down on one. But it has a trick, so check this out. You press this button, let go, it locks it into place. So now, you can articulate and you can fold this any way you want to and you don't have to hold the trigger like this one. So that is super nice. The handle feels really ergonomic. It has a lot going for it, but it has a trick that none of the other tools have. And that is the head moves. Check this out. This is absolutely amazing. It has a button right here and you press it and it moves um, all the way from zero. Then you have one, I believe that's uh, 30 degrees, 45 degrees. I think that's your uh, 60 degree and then that's your 90 degree right there. Now what that allows you to do is that really allows you to get into those really tight spots. So let's say you know, you're getting into uh, in between joists or something like that and you know there's 16 on center well this with a blade's not going to fit but <laughs> if you turn the head just like this now you're going to be able to get into it and you're going to press this way now this is also a toolish change as well so and this also spins so right here you if you can see that so different types of blades or different attachments that you put on here you can put in there and it has neodymium magnets that automatically pulls that blade and pushes it right in. All right, so see right here, so see what I mean? I can pull the trigger, put that, and now I'm gonna be able to get in between joists anywhere I want to. Now I think what's really important to know about this is check this out. This is just about seven, no, six and a half inches. So, from this point to this point is six and a half inches, which is truly incredible because you're able to get into those really tight spots that you otherwise would not be able to get to. Now, it's not a brushless motor and that's okay because the access that you're able to get with this one is just absolutely spectacular. When I first purchased all three tools, they came with something like this. This is a little triangular sanding block and you put your sanding pads on it's velcro and you get to work with sanding that's all well and good they all three came with that but something with this one right here the european or australian version of the tool it came with a couple other things something that uh, to be honest with you i am um, I, I i couldn't believe it and when i first got it it just kind of blew my mind this is a vacuum attachment so all you do is you stick this up on here you have it right there it locks into place it turns i don't know if you can see that it locks in place so you put your vacuum there then you go ahead and you put your blade on you attach your vacuum right here just like so and then you just go to work and then and that just sucks up the sawdust creates less of a mess the thoughtfulness of that to actually give that with the tool is, in my opinion, spectacular. And i kind of jealous. I wish we had that other quality type of attachment in the U.S. whenever you get these. But, hey, I am super glad I have this. But there's more with this. Sound like an infomercial. But wait, there's more. So you take this off, and then you get this little thing right here. And you can probably guess what that is by looking at it. Maybe, maybe not. But let's go ahead and take a quick look. It slides right on. Then you go ahead and put your blade on. And then check this out. There's a little lever right here. And I don't know if you can see this. But look right there, there's measurements. So this is actually a depth gauge. So whenever you cut, you can actually see how far you're going so it's a lot more controlled. Especially in an environment when you're doing a plunge cut and you maybe hit a knot or a nail or something. Um, this is gonna help you stabilize, not put too much pressure and really you know, gouge further than what you're doing. So, and this just came with it. I, it wasn't anything special. So let's take this out 
and look, I mean, they, they come out so easily and it's just so amazing some of the attachments you get. Okay, so we moved over to the testing area and we're gonna be making plunge cuts all the way through this two by four. Now that's pretty typical. That's why we're going to do that. And then we're actually going to notch out of the two by four so we can show the controllability of each tool. Now, in order to make this equal, we are using three amp hour HP batteries. They're all fully charged and they're all the same age for each of the tools. Now, this is the older tool, the one with the uh, rigid job max heads on it. Um, the newest one, which is per the newest purchase, is the Australian tool. And the HP tool, I've used it um, actually a fairly bit. I, I've used it a ton, actually. And it has worked out just fine. So I don't think we're gonna have any discrepancies within the testing. I'm just gonna show you how they actually work. Now we're gonna use Big Brother's blade. This is a brand new Milwaukee blade. And I'm gonna switch it out to each tool. Now, since we're only doing wood, it shouldn't get dull. This is a wood bit. So what are we waiting on? Let's jump into it. Just like the previous one, same blade, still really sharp. Let's Lock go. It down, here we go. Awesome. All right, you know what? Let's try it. What about at this angle? What about a 90 degree angle? We go from, you know, 90 degrees from where we were. Let's see if it still lays down the same power. Lock it in. You know what? Let's get it done here. I'm actually going to do it from this angle. Well, I'll do it right here. So here we go. Locked in. It's actually putting down the same power. That felt exactly the same. That was super impressive. Okay, so what I wanna demonstrate here is just controllability of the tool itself. I want to plunge cut down here and then I'm going to plunge cut here and then I'm actually going to plunge all the way through and I want to have a very clean line all the way around so you don't want to see a lot of marks over here you don't want to see a lot of you know gouging so that shit's going to show and this is the best way I can think to actually do it um, just the controllability of this now I'm going to have them all on the highest speed in order to do this and how stable this is and the vibration vi vibration isolation is really going to play a key here so let's go ahead and get that done i'm going to start with the australian version of the tool let's go Pretty good. All right, everybody, so there you have it. I think you can tell why I do not prefer this Job Max or the original, I guess, uh, trigger pull of multi tool from Ryobi. It just it cannot lay the power down. I just really want to point out a couple things on this. 
the connections point the connection point where it actually attaches to the blade it does not have as many positive connections and that's the fingers that actually come out the grooves as this one and this one and when you don't engage the blade as many times well you have a lot of loss there of power so you have power loss here you have power loss in your gears you have a huge power loss um, and the bottom of the head too with that rubber coupling so the blade actually locks up quite a bit on this and that's why plunging was terrible in fact you really can't put pressure on these because they just lock up burn the gears up and well you lose your coupling so that's the reason why that didn't perform looking at the HP you can see why this is so popular why it performs so well it has a lot of engagement points right here a lot of uh, really good uh, frictions in there you can press on it it will work and it just it's like butter it glides through wood like butter it's awesome now let's talk about this one right here this performed super well considering it doesn't have a brushless motor it does have some gears in here so you're going to have some loss of power going through the head but as you saw with the 90 degree and then the flat they're 90 degrees apart it was able to translate that power through this head in the gears and it was just melted it like butter it went through wood like butter it was awesome now it does have a trigger as well but it has a lock on it so you get past any of the obstacles that you would have with this one right here this is a hybrid of both of these but i think it's better because it has more amenities the quality of engineering and craftsmanship of putting this together is on the next level it's just it's really great now let's talk about vibrations you heard that this one was louder and obviously it was and i felt the vibrations from this more than i felt from this one so this had less vibrations uh, it has more amenities more capabilities as well i would say capabilities just because it can articulate the head i think this one is is by far the most powerful but I think this one may be going into my toolbox more often than this one right here. So everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this comparison. I've really enjoyed putting it together, doing the test, and bringing you the different tool options that Ryobi has globally. It's just, it, this is such a great hobby for me to sit in my basement and in my shops making these videos. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button and I would please consider subscribing as well. It does help me and it helps the channel and uh, leave me a comment. I always respond to my comments. Thanks everyone again. I hope to see you in the next video.